Uh, hey guys, I um, decided to start a new little project here um, for picking up leaves. Uh, they have they have those um, little trailers that you can pull behind your your tractor and have a an engine with a blower on it, and uh, it's a leaf back trailer basically. You hook on your mower deck or use the hose to suck up leaves out of flower beds, and um, if you use the mower deck, it'll stir up the leaves, chop them up, run them up the, the chute that attaches onto the side of the deck, and runs through the engine, the blower on an engine, and into a into the trailer. And uh, I've seen the, them things around, and they're about starting out around twelve hundred dollars. And uh, I thought that'd be kind of nice and all, but um, the ones I saw, you can't even uh, take the top off. To use it as a regular lawn cart, so uh, or at least the ones now um, that I happen to notice. But in any case, I didn't really feel like spending twelve hundred dollars when I have a lot of the different pieces laying around. So um, I decided that uh, being I had sheet metal and um, strip stock like this right here from at work and so on, I figured that I would uh, put something together. So. Um, I had this material right here and that stuff there and other stuff that I don't have on me right now. And um I drew up a drew up some little prints that show uh and give me an idea of what kind of, what the pieces I need, the measurements. Um hopefully I'm getting that into frame, but um kind of give me some measurements and things to cut out. So uh in any case I figured I would uh, use this old uh, lawnmower engine here as uh, my power unit. Um, it's just a old three and a half horse Briggs from years gone by, probably late 70s, early 80s. Um, it was a pretty nice one, but um, I had it down in the barn and the cats uh, decided to mark their territory on it over and over again. But um, it was a running engine when I put it away. It's still still turns over, has compression and all that. It's still got oil in it even. But it hasn't run since I was in the 10th grade. Um, I graduated in 01, so that's how long ago it's been since that one ran. But in any case, I made this right here is my part of my blower unit. That's the other piece. And um, just kind of showed, laid this out the way I cut it out in the scrap piece. And um, I just used scriber and everything else, scribers and uh, measuring tools to lay out my circ bolt circles and all that kind of thing, and just kind of sketch everything out with a scriber and compass, compass and so on. So that was that. The engine is going to bolt onto here. The base sticks down through a little bit on the oil pan. So on the old one, so I cut that out so it would fit with bolt holes. I'm going to put bolts up through the top and weld them in or as studs so that all i got to do is sit the motor on and tighten the, some nylock bolts down. This right here is my scrap piece. And this will be my um, my lower piece. The engine's going to sit on top and then this will be on underneath. The impeller can come up into the unit through the bottom and um, and then I'll make a cover piece that covers over this. There'll be uh, ten bolt holes around here. And um, one piece will be over top of the other like that with a, a six inch strip that goes around here. And it'll be like a sand shell. It'll come around like this and it'll arc on around until it gets to about there and then go straight. And this will be the chute where it comes out. The air will come in from underneath through this hole. This hole just has to be this big for the impeller, but there's going to be a cover on it with a six inch flange on it that I can hook a hose to, one of them flexible hoses. Um, this piece right here, I'm going to bend it into a six inch circle. It's probably too long right now. I'll run it through the slip roll and uh, get it get it into a nice loop and then weld it end to end at six inches in diameter. I'll probably have to chop her shorter. Um, 
and then my impeller, this, this circle right here is going to be my impeller. It's going to have six blades on it. It's going to have a nice 7 8 hub in the center that will bolt onto the crankshaft of the engine. It just fits through. In fact, that's where it came from. It's uh, about a quarter inch or half inch, I think half inch diameter, smaller. But it'll go through there and it'll have six blades on it. Um, but that's my intentions here. Um, and I'm probably forgetting something else. But, okay, well anyways, that's uh, part of my plan for now. I, I have one of those lawn carts and I made some wooden frames then I'll put screen on and the plywood front and back and then uh, this unit here will bolt onto the front portion and have the hose come out the bottom and then it'll have enough length to reach to where I need to to use it so this right here is the beginning of my project okay here's the trailer portion of my project um, I framed up this uh, this thing right here for my lawn cart and um, it's just just a, a few a two by four frames put together and um, I can break it down with a few wood screws and um, it'll stack up just to, as um, uh, two by four frames so there'll be a front and a front and a back two sides and a top the sides and the top are all all three the same dimensions. They're 36 by uh, 49, and then there's enough room it's counted for uh, the plywood on the back, and those will be bolted on too. Um, so it'll be a nice little unit that'll bolt on. I'll have wood screws come up through the bottom. I'll drill holes on the lip. So it'll screw right into the, the wood frames, and um, just with a few few wood screws so I'll be able to break it down and put it put it away kind of nice and neat and compact. Um, I got thinking about it so on that uh, the engine and uh, blower I was going to have on either the front or the back, but I'm not sure I want that thing right behind my head. And it's going to be, I want to be here, and the lower unit's going to be right about here, if I put it here. So I'm not sure yet whether I want to lengthen the tongue and have that right behind my head, which I kind of doubt it, or run it on the back and have it blow forward. I just don't want to have um, I don't want to have it blow on the screen on the side. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, exactly 100%. But I have a setup. I'll have it set up here where um, I can lift the tailgate off past the back. The back will be forward just enough where I can flip this on and off without inter interfering with this, so yet it'll be tight enough it doesn't get too much out. Um, this right here is just big enough that um, this roll of hardware hardware cloth and also um, window screen or screen door screen will, uh, will cover it. So I, I have a roll of uh, aluminum window screen for the fine portion of it to go across the sides and the top and um, heavier hardware cloth to uh, support it. So put it put across the sides and the top. Um, I don't know, maybe it'll be best to put my engine on the side here and um, have that side plywood. I'll uh, kind of see what works out best. I know probably, it's probably best off not to have uh, any longer length of hose for the debris to go through than you have to. It's just going to be leaves, but nothing like having things clog up. The longer the, the pipe and so on, the more of a mess you got to clean. Um, this was the hose I was going to work with. I uh, found it on eBay from a fella and bought it. And uh, it's a 14 foot length. So I figured that's plenty, plenty long for 
whatever I might come up with. But that's pretty much what's going to go on the underside of my uh, leaf blower, or leaf back engine. And there won't be any tubing from the engine to the to this. It's going to bolt right on, which it'll be easier to see when it's uh, put together. So that's where my project stands now. Um, it's going to be more difficult to try to create video for for this project because it gets dark now at about 5:30, and um, I'm usually working until four. The better part of every day, and the weekends end up getting tied up one way or another, too, so we'll see how this all works out when you try to video any of this, my progress, so see you in the next clip.